Hey, hey, hey. So this is going to be LT Tarot doing your video um, Tauruses for the next 30 days. So let's see what comes out for you. Like I've been doing, um, well, I did Capricorn, um, Pisces, um, Aquarius, and Aries so far, right? All of it's been about love. So I'm just assuming yours is going to be about love too. <laughs> uh, this is just a general reading. But if you guys haven't already, please make sure you like, you comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out my website at ltspiritual.com. Um, find me on Instagram at lt.tarot. If you're looking for some reading, go to my website. Also, if you're looking for some good crystals, I do have this one and a lot more. And this is selenite. And this is just basically clears out the negative energy. Also, it like charges other crystals as well. So if you're looking for some good quality crystals this crystal here was um I mean, it's like a pound so um definitely check me out and uh, make your purchase there let's go ahead and um get started i'm going to go ahead and clear out the energy here and see what message comes out for tauruses what message of spirit that you have for tauruses Okay. I got the ten of cups here. See, more love, more love. The hangman. Okay. One. Now this could be representing you. I feel like this is a love reading too. Um, could represent you or your partner. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So, um, and I'm not going to keep you guys long. I just want to get to this, these messages for you. But you do have the Four of Cups. Um, I feel like you're very discontent about some things. Um, it's kind of have you in your emotions. Have you just kind of like ponder a lot. You, you're not really able to get your thoughts out. I mean, you're not really able to like voice your emotions right now. Um, I just feel anger for some reason. Um, it's not for everybody, you know, but this may be for you, you know, but I just feel like there's an angry energy because I feel like you feel like you try. I feel like you try to overcome some things. You try to like, like you really went above and beyond for somebody and you've done things that you didn't want to do or things that you may not have been comfortable with doing. You feel like you was always trying and it was always like, um, it was always one of those days where there's always an obstacle. There's always something else. It's like, as soon as you think you got the prize, you know, as soon as you think that you um, won this person over, it's more or less like there's some, there's another obstacle, you know? And it's like, it's like almost, it's like this almost energy here. I mean, you recently just broke up with this person or I feel like you're about to break up with this person because you're mourning this relationship. It's like, it's the death of you or it's a death of a relationship. I feel like you ending something that you're not going back to. You're gonna mourn over this situation, but you're not going back to it. You really, I feel like you got kids with this person. Now you really had like this happy situation going on and I feel like you created it or you was getting to the point where you was creating this happy situation. But with the relationship it was like emotionally balanced. But it seemed like your partner is always trapped. It is it's like or your ex or this person that you're thinking about, it's like somehow this it's some type of emotional trapness. You know, spiritual trap. This could be you, this could be your partner. But it's like something that's always a block 
you get so close but there's like you pretty much get what you want and then you realize that maybe spirit is saying that this is not what you want you know because there's some type of emotional trapness um here or spiritual trapness it's like like the hangman is being spiritually like contained almost like spiritually trapped um you're going through a tower moment right now it's like your world fell down like it is falling down it's like you worked so hard to end i just feel like that's what you're saying i did everything i could to end up here i did stuff that i wasn't supposed to do to end up here and like you're you're it's falling like it's crumbling you know like you just you're very upset you just don't see how this is gonna work out you can't it's like the glass half empty like or half full like some people look at it as oh like you got five cups here and then three are spilled and then there's two that's um that you was able to save but at the same time you're like shoot i say these two i'm gonna walk away with some dignity but i just don't see the good in this you know I just feel like you guys you was being you're a little icy right now like you know you're no like no emotion straight logic like you're ready for war and this is a beautiful person you know so i feel like you're a very beautiful person uh, um on especially on the outside but they don't understand like you can be cutthroat if you want to you know Taurus. like you can be straight up cutthroat you have the nine of wands here there's like you're protecting yourself like you're you're standing your ground you're protecting yourself you're not taking anything from anybody like um you feel like you was a team player you know you did everything that you were supposed to do you got um but you also feel like you did some things on your own and it was always you bossing up you doing things if you didn't get stuff done then you know this relationship wouldn't have been where you are now with the page of wands i feel like somebody else is coming in i feel like you're gonna leave this negative situation like you love this person you did everything that you want this person brings out anxiety brings out a lot of sadness you did everything that you want i mean you that you that you wanted to that you feel like it was going to be great for the relationship and it didn't work out but somebody else is coming in that's very like you know happy go lucky they come with some messages it could be another ex um but they're coming in with something and they're like letting you know that you know that this is you know like they want you they they're, they're going to be a breath of fresh air like somebody's coming in to be a breath of fresh air because your partner your ex, the person that you're like breaking up with or going through it with i feel like they're juggling some things I don't feel like they're truthful about their emotions either. And I feel like you're going to let them, you're going to let them see this side of you too, because you know, you guys are, I don't feel like this relationship is fully broken up. I feel like you may be still living in the house with each other, still feeling trapped. And Taurus, you're going to like start kind of juggling yourself, you know, like because somebody's coming in, somebody's trying to show you that they love you. And you're definitely going to start like, juggling or and and you're gonna choose the uh, this new person that's coming in other than the person that you're breaking up with i got to see so many messages and i feel like there's so much positive energy here you i mean not positive energy but positive energy to like the person that's coming in i just see like these this new person may be a little younger than you um but they're like willing to work hard for this relationship they're willing to give you what you need, you know. This person, I feel like they have um, earth and um, and the new person. They have earth and fire in their charts. But I just feel like you're not you're not satisfied, and I just feel like you know you did everything you could, and it's new something new is coming in, and you're gonna be loved way better. You don't have to work that hard, you know. Somebody's gonna work that hard for you. So anyway, Taurus, since this is going to be your reading, make sure that you like, you comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, also, check out my website at ltspiritual.com. I, 
I'll keep on saying LT Spiritual TV because I want to change my name on my YouTube channel <laughs> to that. So, but that's not the name of my website. My website is ltspiritual.com. And um, definitely find me on Instagram at lt.tarot. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. If you like this reading, definitely hit the subscribe button because I'll be doing more of these readings. You're going to start seeing more of me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. Talk to you later.